His left. Hup. Post, killers. Post. Oh, God. Freeze it. Oh. All uniform personnel. Order. Ah. Yep. Hey. Board. Mark. I'm Dave Roberts, Fire Chief, serving the communities of El Dorado Hills, Latrobe, and Rescue. Today, we're at Station 84. Uh, it's a great honor today because we are actually rededicating this station to Chief Robert B. Sima, uh, who served our district and retired in 1993. Um, Chief Robert Sima was uh, instrumental in ensuring our financial stability and uh, enabling us to have the service that we enjoy today for our customers in El Dorado Hills. Station 84 is a very near and dear to my heart station. Uh, I started in, in 1988 as a volunteer and Station 84 was a volunteer station only. It was just a cinder block building uh, with a couple of engines in it and turnout gear for the volunteers. Really no uh, living area. That, this was actually my first station that I responded to as a volunteer. So it, it holds a, a deep meaning for me uh, today on uh, the rededication and the rebuild of this station. Fire Station 84, originally constructed in 1982. Back then it was a simple cinder block building, uh, no thrills at all, uh, just big enough to house a couple engines and some turnout gear for the volunteers to uh, jump into when the calls came in. It was really built on a shoestring budget uh, with a very limited electrical uh, phone. Uh, computer wiring wasn't even a thought uh, back then because um, we weren't really living here at all. Give you a perspective, Back then, El Dorado Hills population was around 4,800 to 5,000 people. It was protected by one staff station, the station that was on 990 Lassen Lane, which is now the senior center, by two person uh, squ on a squad. And then the rest was protected by volunteers back then. My house, for instance, over in St. Andrews Village was the first house I owned here in El Dorado Hills. And to give you another perspective, it was the only subdivision, only homes that was east of El Dorado Hills Boulevard. There was nothing else east of El Dorado Hills Boulevard back then at that time, other than Oak Ridge High School and Rayleigh's. In comparison today, we're pushing about 46,000 people and growing still, and we're protected now by five staff stations. In 1991, with the explosion of development on this end of the district, came a steady increase in emergency calls and the need to reduce response time to our customers in Marina, Lake Hills, and Waterford. In response to that need, we staffed the station with two firefighters 24-7-365. We did a minimal remodel at that time. The firefighters actually did it uh, by throwing up a couple walls, making a makeshift office and a makeshift bedroom. And I remember it was kind of comical because it was just big enough to put two beds foot to foot. Um, as firefighters, we didn't want them head to head. That was bad. So we put them foot to foot, and if you were two tall guys, you could actually roll, roll over at night and, and play footsie with the uh, guy on the other side. It was pretty tight. In 1993, as development and demand continued to increase, we modified our staffing model from two firefighters on an engine to three firefighters on an engine and remodeled this station to accommodate that change. 
adding storage, a dorm room, restroom facilities, a hose drying tower, and above ground fuel tank. To make this additional staffing possible, I was one of the firefighters hired that year. Another reason that most of us really love working out of this station is because it's really only, it's our only community station. It's, it's embedded in the community. All of our other stations are offset off the road, uh, back off a little ways, so we don't get the interaction with the uh, kids walking to and from school who we get to know, the families that walk by every day and stop in and say hi. Um, this was always one of the most popular stations to work at because of that. That's why it was important to us to keep it right here. The other thing that makes this day very special for us, and for me in particular, is that today, along with the grand opening, we are rededicating the station to Fire Chief Robert B. Sema, who served the citizens of El Dorado Hills from 1974 to 1993. The 1993 remodel of this station and the hiring of the firefighters to staff it were two of the last things that Chief Sema oversaw prior to his retirement. Now, sadly, Chief Seema passed away from a heart attack just a few short months after he retired. And though I only got to know and work with him as a paid firefighter for a few short months, I grew to really respect his vision and his leadership. Chief Seema, more than possibly anyone else, had the foresight to ensure our financial success as this young department was coming out of its infancy. As our department, uh, as our demand for service increased with the explosive growth of homes, population, and businesses, we were ready to meet those challenges largely because of what, Chima, what Chief Sima had set in place for us. We truly have him to thank for this amazing department and the level of service that all of our residents have, protecting them 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. One of the things Chief Seba told me uh, on his retirement day, he was go coming around and shaking hands and, and wishing well, and, and we were wishing him good luck and everything. And he told me, um, he says, you know, you, your career here will only be limited by how hard you work and your attitude. And that still holds true today. So for me and for all of us here at El Dorado Hills Fire Department, this is truly a very special station. And we're proud to welcome you to your new Station 84, the Robert B. Seaman Memorial Fire Station. I too would like to just show special honor to Robert B. Seema, uh, the Memorial Fire Station dedication to him. I got on this board uh, at the same point in time, basically 1981. But in Sema, this station was built and Seema had already been the, the chief for many, many years. But we started out as basically an all-volunteer, with the exception of one chief, type of uh, fire department and have evolved now to a staff of like 65 uh, paid firefighters, safety personnel who respond to calls at the various five stations we have. So we've seen a lot of growth. The fire department has kept up with that growth and I'm very proud of where we arrived today in terms of being able to dedicate this facility. So thank you all for turning out and I hope you have an enjoyable afternoon. Thank you all for coming out today. And this is a great addition to our community. Anytime we have not only a great staff, but a great department that's here for everyone. We mentioned rattlesnake removal, removal, but also medical aids, medical services. Uh, this is a great event. Not only that, but this is a great day in the history of El Dorado Hills. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. Good afternoon, Chief Vincent. I'm your District 2 Supervisor. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations to the fire department. And uh, I have always had a great respect for our firefighters. Last month, I had the opportunity to do a hands-on training with our firefighters and burn a house and a, an automobile on purpose in Alvada Hills. Um, I have to tell you, just carrying that heavy suit and uh, the mask and everything, you know, the, the hose is so heavy, so physically draining that uh, my respect is even more. So thank you for everything that you do to keep our community safe and thanks for being here. Enjoy the day. Oh, 
All right. Thank you, man. Beautiful. There you go. All right, everybody. Welcome to your station. Come on in.